Hey guys, uh, it's Justin with the Robbins Family Homestead. Hey, um, if you have animals, you probably have a fly problem. Um, we've been struggling with it for years. I mean, we have, uh, I think, seven or eight horses, and then depending on the time of year with the babies on the goats, we have anywhere from we have anywhere from uh, probably ten to twenty-three goats. Um, obviously in the fall we sell a lot of babies and we bring it back down but that being said we have majority of those goats during um, during the time of fly season okay so we've kind of come up with a thing on accident last year we were experimenting with uh, doing flies and larvae dropping uh, into a bucket for the maggots for the chickens then we found out that uh, it actually can cause botulism for the chickens so but what we found out by doing so is that it decreased our flies tremendously I would say by 90% and all we did was put food scraps or or dead fish or dead animals into a bucket hung with holes the maggots dropped down I mean the chickens would be a mile away they'd be like a little velociraptor turn their head and just take off running from a mile away just to see that one little maggot drop so kind of fun there but by doing so the the flies laid eggs and then the maggots uh, got eaten so then we didn't have we broke that reproduction cycle so um, and if you can hear my kid in the background, he's screaming for mom who's behind the camera right now. So welcome to uh, welcome to real life, guys. So anyway, so what we've done this year and the last year is when we catch fish, starting with crappie season, because that's usually, you know, the crappie spawn is early enough when the flies start. Uh, we take the carcasses and we simply cut all the meat off. And... And we save all the, the skins and the actual carcasses themselves, okay? And then what we do is we do a bucket, okay? And as you can see, the flies are, flies are in here. Now, when we started this, this bucket was literally black, covered with flies. I mean, just absolutely covered. And we'd put fish in here or kitchen scraps. And within, I would say, <clears throat> a couple hours, You'd open it up and it was covered in, in, I mean, millions of eggs. Well, I put one in here a couple days ago, two days ago, whew, and I don't know if you can get in here and see, Keely, but there's little tiny eggs, but there's, I mean, there's probably only a couple thousand. I mean, we literally have reduced our fly, fly population by 90%. Um, it's, it's been tremendous especially if you start it early and you do it all year long so all I do is every time I catch a fish we just simply add it up on the top put fresh fish in there okay and it's gross so for those who are squeamish <laughs> put us go come on let's go um, put the lid on okay now we did a clicking lid so we can click half of it because we found that the dogs were getting it and they were rolling in disgusting rotten fish but anyway so we leave a gap so the flies can get in there it's clicked on the other half and then what we do is we wait about two days day and a half two days and then we shut it all those eggs are then heated from the sun we leave it out in the sun and it's been 90 plus degrees it heats and kills everything in there and so you end up with dead flies dead bugs and obviously the eggs are killed, rendered sterilized, okay? Then you take it off, so, so we leave the, so we do it in about a day and a half, two days, and we take the lid off, um, so we leave that, so put the fish in there, let them lay eggs for about two days, shut it, heat it up for three days, so we make sure to sterilize and kill every single bit of them, and then we pop it back open and do it again. And, and, and the fish will last, I just, whenever I'm out fishing, I put new fish in, but they'll keep laying the eggs on that stinky stuff, when the bucket is finally full, you'll end up with a ton of juice and, and the meat falls off the bones and kind of renders itself down to just a sludge. Then we go and put it on our garden. We go side dress, just pour it directly on our, our high nitrogen um, plants, you know, our watermelons, our cantaloupes, our squashes, zucchinis, corns, things like that. They do wonderful, so it's a two-part thing. Now we do have two different types of flies. We have the flies also that, that get after the horses, okay? And they lay their eggs in the horse poop. So we have another bucket that we do this with horse poop and just layer fresh horse poop. And again, do the same regimen, let them lay the eggs and then just render them sterilized, okay? So if you guys have any more questions, 
please feel free to ask. If you like stuff, uh, tips and stuff, please give our channel a like um, and subscribe so you can continue to follow. If there's a video you would like us to do, let us know. So anyway, take care guys.